Hello guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are doing well, having a nice day. Um, today's video, a subscriber sent in a game. So um, I said on chess.com, you know, if you want to uh, send me in some of your best games, I'll happily make a video on them and I'll check it out. So um, feel free if you have any uh, games you want to share with me and I can uh, happily make a video. So um, our subscriber over here sent in a game, um, 1100, that's 1200, fairly evened up, uh, fairly even, uh, evenly matched game. And uh, let's see what um, our subscriber has in his locker. Okay, so E4, already a fan of this move. I believe it's the best by test, like Bobby Fischer would say. E5. Knight C3, the Vienna game. I normally play um, Knight of Knight of Three, Bishop E5. Used to play the Italian game, but don't really normally play um, the Vienna game, so I don't know much about it. But anyway, Knight C3, Knight C6, um, F4. So kind of like Vienna, yeah, Vienna Gambit. Very common, especially at this level. Um, I know it's very common at all levels, but I have seen a lot of uh, people around this level play this opening as whites, and it's uh, definitely respectable. So um, the idea is, if he takes, you want to develop, um, you normally win back the pawn, maybe you can hold on, but uh, you definitely have um, great development for it. So I, I like it. Okay, so, so he takes, and... Um, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not really sure if I would take, you know, I don't really, I probably would try not take. Uh, what are the main moves? So D5, I've seen this. D6, I would probably play D6 myself. Um, I'd probably play D6 here. But, um, okay. So he takes what? I feel like uh, when your opponent offers you this pawn, you know, sometimes when you take, it can be... Um, you sometimes get yourself in trouble, so you have to be prepared. Definitely have to be prepared. So he takes um, now e5. Now, what's the main move here? Because I think e5 definitely makes sense. Idea being this knight has to literally go all the way back. Um, so yeah, this is the problem of also taking is that now this pawn can come up here. Your knight's coming back here and. It's not that it's not very pleasant to play as black at all. So e5, I like it. Knight g8 looks very sad position so far. Um, knight f3, I like it. Just controlling uh, the center. Notice how white's piece is uh, controlling key squares, and black's doing nothing because he's tried to um, he's tried to like get a pawn advantage, and I see this a lot. I used to always do this. I used to always just try and uh, hold on to pawns. So plays b5. Okay. I'm not a big fan at all. Um, bishop c4. d4. Okay, plays d4 straight away. And I wonder if b4 is um an annoying move. Uh, what would you play here? Maybe you'd come back. Or maybe you would... Just going like g8, and are you winning this pawn? No, bishop a6. Ah, nah, yeah. So, if you, so I think you just go knight g8, and uh, you attack both pawns. If I'm correct, yeah. Um. Oh, this queen h4, king e2. Oh, so no, you don't go knight g8. So what do you go if he plays? Uh, g4 bishop f6 we're well, on a bishop f4 takes and queen takes and it's kind of like the musio gambit on the same idea and now black is um down sorry black's up uh some material but oh my this is morbid compensation this is like so like this is very sufficient compensation. You know, maybe you can go bishop c4, castles long, and yeah, I would rather play this with white all day, even against like um, 
Like strong players, any player I would take this position. So it's just an idea to keep in mind. Uh, if you played the Vienna. Now, his opponent played h6, what makes no sense um, at all. You want to try and develop a piece. I mean, you're really, you're really, uh, really down in development here. So, if anything, you'd want to try and develop and not just uh, not play um, h6. Okay, e5, and um, I don't think you want to move these pawns twice. I feel like you should try and develop a piece here. Bishop c4. What's the best move? Uh, Bishop c4 is one of the top moves. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't move this uh, pawn again. Maybe you want to take this square away. But if his knight does come out, you can just play this move anyway. So uh, yeah, I wouldn't tr try and avoid moving pawns in the opening twice. Okay. So he plays d5. Um, d6. What? Well, he's trying to um strike back. Trying to destroy the center, being fairly principled, but his position's already terrible. So um, let's see, so he takes. Um, now, I think takes is is not bad. I think you should maybe maybe I would just take and develop, but maybe you have more time to think. I would do something else. Let's see what the uh, engine says. Uh. Engine says bishop b5, um, and uh, yeah, okay, so you take, I don't think there's much uh, much wrong with it, now his pieces do come into the game however, and you have allowed him to um, bring his piece into the game, maybe you played bishop b5, he wouldn't have had this nice square, and uh, this is very awkward. But let's see, we played bishop c4. I mean, this pawn is kind of blocking this bishop's scope a bit. Um, but maybe you can castle. Maybe, you could, yeah, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it uh, too much. Maybe you could have also gone bishop b5. Yeah, maybe bishop b5 or bishop d3 because I feel like this pawn's just in the way. Um, now, I feel like maybe you should castle queen side here. Um, just because these pawns might cause you a lot of problems, and uh, this king is very exposed, so you really do need to strike back at the center. So this queen is seven. Now I wonder if you can go he here. Um, if if here, if this should be five. Uh, if you go here, I wonder if there's any rookie one threats. Not sure. Maybe you just play uh, here. Okay, you do. Queen e2 takes, and you took with a knight. Probably would. I probably would have took with the king on myself. Um, maybe. Yeah, I might have. Yeah, I might have took with the king. See what? Maybe and just uh, moving the king and bringing the pieces in. Maybe fiend shadowing on this very weak diagonal. Let's see. Uh, okay, so it prefers black, but I have no idea why. So c3. So he comes back. And, um, you know, all of a sudden, Fluck Bishop is kind of slicing down your position. So here I would probably go uh, knight d5 just to. Uh, knight d5 to block the bishop. You go bishop d2, c6, nothing moves really, castles, I like it. Uh, a6, your opponent's made a lot of uh, mindless pawn moves. And if you're watching this and you're around this level, try and avoid playing these mindless pawn moves because they really do nothing for your position. Maybe you want to play b5, but you should just develop your pieces. And um, c, so you, so you played g3 here. Uh, I like the idea, trying to open up some lines. So I think g3 is a decent move. You can also go. You can also like go here. Uh, you can't get that square, but maybe you can go here, block the bishop. But I, I also like g3, uh, opening up these pieces a bit more. So takes. You take with the pawn. I like it. So he's attacking this pawn. Now, 
Let's see what you play here. This, you know, this this bit, uh, this pawn is quite awkwardly. Um, I like how he blockades this pawn. Uh, so you play bishop e three. Maybe you want to come to this diagonal. Oh, uh, now oh, I just realized you can actually just take here. So you could have actually just taken and this pawn's pinned. Let's see. Oh, okay. Take, take, and your equal material. You're attacking this. Um, I definitely like the position a lot more. Knight can come in. Our bishop comes here. Uh, now I think you should move this with check and then move this knight. Yes, you do it. Oh, nice. And you get the fork. Very nice. And yeah. Let's knock out blow. Because now you just exchange all the pieces. Uh, rookie f1. Or you can go there. There. Um, now you. That's here. It's probably a mate here, right? Oh. And then you just take it. It's mate and one. Nice. Very nice game. Uh, your opponent did. Uh, play some very kind of dubious moves in the opening, but other sides from that, I think it's, it was quite a nice game, especially at uh, 1100. I would, um, yeah, I wouldn't try and move this pawn twice, maybe try and develop, but you know, you can also learn from your opponent's mistakes here how he lost just by moving all these pawns. Maybe you shouldn't have taken here because you got his bishop developed. Um, Bishop c4, maybe you should have gone bishop c5 or bishop d3 because there's pawns in the way. Okay. And this is, he prefers black here. I'm not really sure why. Uh, but now, yeah, after g3 was a really nice move to open up in these lines. Uh, and there were some situations where you could have, and you, yeah. And the rest was pretty clean. Anyway, um, if you stayed to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Uh, if you got any value out of the video, please leave a like. And also, um, if you want to send in any of your games, you know, if you're any rating really, um, I could definitely uh, react to the game. I'm trying to make uh, lots of more videos, try and maybe post daily. So make sure. I'll be making uh, lots of videos, trying to improve as well with my video, my content. So yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, 